talking about the Cisco IP video surveillance products today, uh, most specifically the uh, software that goes with it. Uh, there are a couple of uh, Cisco video um, cameras available. There's pan, tilt, zoom models, and then there's your standard model. Um, each one has two options as far as implementation. You can either utilize um, a system like uh, this, the uh, Cisco video monitoring system, or you can utilize the onboard software um, to uh, send pictures or to record video. Uh, each camera hosts uh, Linux with a uh, web server built in, so that's how you would access that. Uh, first we'll talk about the video monitoring system. Uh, this would be good for uh, implementations of two or more cameras, um, or you can use it for one, but it's a little bit overboard. Um, you have multiple views here. You can use up to 16 uh, cameras per uh, server. In this case, uh, we're using two. Uh, as you can see here, you have multiple views um, with, with uh, up to viewing 16 at a time. Um, you can set it up so uh, it pans through the different uh, cameras uh, with a full screen view or whatever you'd like. Um, the uh, setup is uh, done simply by clicking here on the settings. And uh, this is your general uh, settings right here. You decide where you want to save the uh, video to, um, how long you want to keep the video, um, whether you want to keep it all. Um, you can set up the status as well. You see here, it'll tell us exactly how much free space we have left, uh, which is useful if you're going to just quickly glance to make sure you're not running out of room. Um, it's where you would add or delete or manage your cameras. Um, and these are your options here as far as uh, showing the date, time, camera name, um, and whether you want it to be uh, the name and everything to be opaque or translucent. Translucent, excuse me. Um, most of these cameras have an IO, IO ports on them. <coughs> you can set it up for uh, uh, external uh, uh, infrared lights or um, moisture detection for a server room or something similar. <coughs> Um, the other aspect of the uh, video monitoring utility is the playback utility, and uh, that is a whole separate program. And from here, you can open recordings. Uh, you can see here um, we've got these cameras set up for motion detection, so we're going to show the records. And you can see for uh, today, uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, instances of motion this morning. Um, we're going to show. This one right here in the lobby, one where I just walked through real quickly. Um, just gonna click play right here. Now here you can set the speed if you want to speed it up a little bit. That can be done as soon as it opens up the file. There we go. So I'm gonna hit play. If you're going through a lot of video and you're trying to find something specific, you can go up to eight times speed. You can see me here. And that just activated the motion detection. The motion detection can be set up to record uh, 10 seconds before, 5 seconds before, whatever you'd like, and a couple seconds afterwards. Um, I think we have ours set up for about 2 seconds before and about 3 or 4 seconds afterwards. Um, from here you can do different enhancements, whether you want to uh, tweak the lighting or the uh, contrast and see if you can see uh, certain things that you wouldn't normally be able to. Um, so that's the, uh, the the playback utility. Just exit out of there. Um, with the setup, or excuse me, with the schedule, you can set up the uh, the motion detection. Um, these cameras can either be uh, uh, motion detection or they can be uh, recording all the time. Generally speaking, unless you have a lot of storage space, um, in order to save on storage space, you don't want to record um, all the time. It'll just you'll just have hundreds of hours of uh, empty rooms a lot of times. Uh, for this you can see the green areas are where the uh, motion detection is set up and uh, we can just clear that out if we want to set this up a little bit differently just maybe if we want to get capture this area and uh, you can set the sensitivity here um, and the frame interval. Um, uh, this is useful for uh, uh, like our lobby for example. Um, We've got some trees back here and we have these plants in this area that always tend to move and you can see we set up the recording or the motion detection so they don't capture that. Um, otherwise you end up once again with hours of useless video of trees swaying or um, if there's something hanging sometimes uh, the air conditioning will blow it around. You don't want that type of video, you only want useful video. Um, it's supposed to save you time. 
you're not going to be utilizing this in a surveillance situation or if it's going to be in a little bit uh, lighter duty setting, maybe one or two cameras, uh, your other option if you don't want to have a full-time server dedicated to it is um, to utilize the, uh, um, the onboard web servers. Those are accessed by um, opening up uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox. It'll work with either. In this case, we're going to use Internet Explorer. You're just going to type in the IP address of the uh, camera you want to connect to. It's going to ask you for a username and password, which obviously can be changed. And the home screen is going to show you the uh, image that it's uh, receiving right now. Um, within the setup, You can uh, change the name, uh, description, you can uh, enable or disable LED operations. This is useful if you don't want people to know that the if it's on or off the camera or if you're putting it inside an enclosure, sometimes the LEDs will uh, reflect off the lens of the enclosure and then uh, you'll get a distorted image. Um, you set up NTP uh, server uh, so you don't have to worry, ever worry about changing the time as long as it has internet access of course. And um, got some uh, different options here. Let's see here. Uh, these do record uh, audio also if you want to set that up. There's a built-in camera, but you can also set up an external camera if uh, the camera's mounted high and you want to get the microphone mount mounted low um, so you can actually pick up the conversations. That's another option. Um, you see here on the applications we have the mail and FTP. Um, if you didn't want to use a video monitoring utility, this is what you would utilize. Um, you could just transfer the data to an FTP server or you can set it up to uh, email you um, when there's uh, movement or whatever. So if you want to set this up in your uh, server room and uh, every time uh, someone goes in the server room it could send you an email uh, to your BlackBerry or something that way. Um, when you're uh, over the weekend if there's an alarm that goes off or something you can uh, check it out and uh, see if it's something worth uh, responding to or uh, if it's just a false alarm. <coughs> uh, additionally uh, you can set up your router with some port forwarding um, to access this. So uh, let's say you have a uh, business and over the weekend the alarm goes off. All you have to do is just type in uh, the IP address um, into Internet Explorer from your home and uh, the port you want to access and you'll get this web page here so you can see um, live what's going on uh, in our case in this warehouse. Um, additionally, if you didn't want to set up port forwarding, you could also set up a VPN. Um, that's your other option. Uh, you do have day and night settings for your um, live view. Night settings are going to be a little bit more sensitive to light. Um, so like I said, this would be um, a little bit more useful uh, to, to utilize this uh, display or this interface uh, if you're going to utilize one or two cameras. Um, any more than that, it gets a little bit unwieldy um, as far as the uh, keeping track of all the information and where to store it. Um, in that case, I would definitely recommend using the video monitoring utility. Um, if we had a pan tilt zoom camera, which we don't in this case, you would be able to. You would have an extra set of um, functions up here in this area where you could uh, move it left or right, or zoom in or zoom out. That also might be useful in a um, server room type application. Um, sometimes you can set it up in front of the server rack so you can see if uh, all the servers are actually running and um, if there's anything wrong with them. Um, that is it for today regarding the uh, Cisco IP video surveillance. If you have any questions, you can uh, go to our website at www.cablesupply.com or www.enova.us. And I should mention that uh, each sale of or each camera comes with the video monitoring utility, uh, so you can uh, utilize whichever uh, option you prefer.